Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to announce your new Miss Louisiana for 2016 is Miss Louisiana Watermelon Festival, Justine Pearl! How was your experience at Miss America when you went last September? It was absolutely exhilarating. Being at Miss America has been one of the best moments of being Miss Louisiana. It's an incredible opportunity for me to meet so many accomplished, talented, and intelligent young women who inspire me and uplift me every single day of my life. And it's created a sisterhood for me, and I can't be more thankful for my opportunity to represent the state of Louisiana at Miss America and place in the top 15 as well. Uh, tell us, what have you taken after all your years of competing? What is What are some of the things that you think you're taking from the pageant that you'll be able to use the rest of your life? Well, the Miss Louisiana pageant is definitely more than just a beauty pageant. It's so much more about building skills that are going to help us for our lives, for the rest of our lives. Um, it's helped me with interview. It's helped me be a better speaker, a better communicator. And most importantly, it's shown me the heart of Louisiana because I've gotten to meet hundreds and thousands of people all across the state and it's truly shown me so many lives and stories of the people in Louisiana and to, to really understand that being a doctor in the future, which is my dream, is, is something that I do want to pursue and these are the people that I do want to help. I would love to be the next Miss Louisiana because I'd love to share my platform which is Beat Cancer, which stands for Better Education, Awareness and Teaching. Personally I've been so impacted by cancer in my life and I've lived each side of the story watching family member, members battle the awful disease and also losing members to the disease. So it's really important to spread awareness and teach and choose healthy lifestyles. So I think by being Miss Louisiana, that would be great to incorporate in schools and spread awareness to adults as well. What made you decide to do pageants? I had always wanted to do pageants. I would just sit in front of the TV and watch Miss America. And I was like, Mom, can I do one of those? And she never wanted to put me in a pageant. She wanted me to ask and understand what it was. So finally, when I was old enough to become a preteen or now called the Teen in Training, I entered my first Miss America prelim and I absolutely loved it and I have been with the Miss America system ever since. What is the number one thing you've learned by being in involved with pageants? I have learned that pageants are not what everyone perceives them to be. You, it really is a caring sisterhood and I know that is so cliche but it really and truly is such a sisterhood and I'm surrounded by so many amazing girls and it's so empowering and so amazing to see how many young women in Louisiana and all over the country are doing such great things and implementing their platforms. I would love to be the next Miss Louisiana because to me being Miss Louisiana is somewhat of being like a superhero. You know, you can use your powers for good or for evil and I feel that I would definitely be able to represent Miss Louisiana in the best way possible and definitely use this name to the best of my advantage for other people as well. What is your platform and why did you choose it? A platform is protecting our protectors and it's helping veterans in need and I help um, just go to different VAs and work with them, different veterans that don't know of the benefits that they are able to have. And I chose this platform because my mother was able to get out of the military and start a life for herself and for my brothers and sisters. And so me being able to see that, there are a lot of veterans that aren't able to do that. And I feel like it's, it's basically my obligation to give back to them. I want to be the Miss, next Miss Louisiana because I'm actually an electrical engineer, just like I said. And people have told me, not at work, actually outside of work, They've looked at me and actually said, had the nerve to say, it's cute that you're an engineer, dear, but I don't think that women belong in technical fields because they don't have the mental capability or capacity to do so. And I would love to be a role model for women, young ladies, pretty much anyone to say that it doesn't matter who might tell you it doesn't make sense or be disrespectful to what your hopes and your dreams are. If you really believe that you can do it, you're the person you have to prove wrong, not everybody else. Uh, tell us, what's your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is seatbelt safety. It's not just a law, it's your life. And really every time I talk about my platform, I didn't choose it. The platform chose me. My mom was on her way home from work one day and she was in a really bad car accident where she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. She ended up getting sent to the hospital. She was there for a week and we had to make a really tough decision as a family about what to do. And we ended up losing my mom in the hospital that weekend. and. Really, the fact that she never wore her seatbelt no matter how many times that we tried to convince her, that's the most heartbreaking part. It, 
the, of course the wreck was a surprise. That's totally unexpected. But the fact that it wasn't surprising that she wasn't wearing her seatbelt is really the biggest tragedy. And that's why I just want to remind everyone, don't be complacent. If you love somebody and you care about them, keep bugging them because you really want them to be around. I want to be Miss Louisiana because of the opportunities it brings. I mean, you have such a big platform to do whatever your heart desires. So that's why I want to be it because you have this whole blank canvas to be Miss Louisiana and uh, you can just do whatever you want from that platform. Oh, what have the scholarship dollars this organization provides meant to you? The scholarship dollars have meant so much to me because whether it's $500 here or $1,000 there, that pays for little things like books and even just a class. So as much student debt as you can get off, it just helps so much. So I'm very thankful for all the scholarships I've earned. Um, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is just say hi and it's all about the communication deficit in our world today because I think we don't take the time to sit down and get to know people and have real relationships. So I think it's just starting a conversation and just saying hi in that first step and then um, developing a relationship from just saying hi. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I want to be a role model for young girls and be able to compete on the Miss America stage to stand for style, scholarship, success and service and that's just really why I want to be Miss Louisiana. Oh, what is your platform and why'd you choose it? My platform is entitled My Last Words and it's to bring prevention and awareness against texting while driving. It's become such a big epidemic in our society and in our world today and if through my title and through my pageant and my platform I can save one life, that's just what I want to do. Being Miss Louisiana would give me an excellent platform to promote my platform and Children's Miracle Network. My platform is St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, so promoting awareness of childhood cancer and being able to fundraise on a state level would be impeccable. Um, why did you choose to do pageants? So I chose pageants actually to get interview experience. Um, I planned to go to law school after getting my undergraduate degree in accounting. So I knew um, just getting out there and practicing interview and meeting tons of people would be a great benefit. Um, tell us just a little bit about what you plan to do then for the rest of your life. So I would love to graduate from law school and then practice law for one of the big four international accounting firms. Tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. Well, I would love to promote my platform, Miracle League, through the Miss Louisiana organization. It's an organization that allows special needs children to have a baseball league. So I'd really love to do that as well as give back to CMNH. Uh, tell us why did you get involved with pageants? Um, it Pageants gave me a reason to better myself and become a well-rounded woman and the person I want to be when I enter into the career world. What's the number one thing you've learned the most? Just to be yourself. You can only be the best you. There's no reason to try to beat out everyone and be better than everyone. It really is just coming from yourself and being the best you that you can be. When I think of Miss Louisiana, I think of someone that is has immense strength, but at the same time has a, an extremely kind and passionate heart and a heart that wants to serve the community and the state. Um, and those are all qualities that I want to possess, and those are the reasons that I want to be, be Miss Louisiana. It would be a complete honor to wake up every single morning knowing that I'm doing the dream job of my life and something that would change my life forever and that I would be able to touch so many lives as well as work for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and promote my own platform. I think that bringing the Miss America crown home to Louisiana would be a great dream as well. That has never happened for us, so that would be really, really incredible. All right, and tell us a little bit about your platform. My platform is conquering congenital heart defects. I was born with a congenital heart defect, and I was diagnosed with a CHD um, shortly after um, a routine checkup with my doctor. And I had surgery at a very young age. Thankfully, I've been able to live a very healthy and active and normal life. I developed my platform around two years ago, and I advocate for research, awareness, and education for those living with CHD. I was recently able to travel to Washington, D.C. and talked with legislators and members of Congress um, promoting my platform and advocating for um, money and research with NIH and the CDC. So it's been really amazing working in the community, um, 
getting connected with those patients that have gone through the same thing I have. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I want to stand up for change. That also goes along with my platform as well as the platform of Miss America CMN Network. And I want to make a change in this world. We, a lot of times as people, we look at the problems in the world and we may talk about it, but we don't ever take action. And that's what my platform stands to do, to bring awareness and to take action. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you plan to take action. Yes, ma'am. I want to promote the fact that there are organizations that work within our communities that want to make a change, whether it's those that live in the inner cities, those who are homeless, involved in sex trafficking, maybe the veterans who are neglected and abused, uh, just getting involved in your community and local organizations or starting one up yourself. Being Miss Louisiana would be an absolute dream and one of my absolute favorite things about this program is that it encourages scholarship and academic excellence among its participants and that's something that I want to promote throughout the state of Louisiana as well as my platform STEM is for Girls which I think is something very relevant in today's society. I think it's a message that needs to be heard throughout Louisiana as well as the world. And also I'm from here, I love Louisiana, I admire it, have so much pride and I think I could be the leader, the servant, and the role model that the state deserves. What is your platform and why did you choose it? So my platform is STEM is for Girls and I am about to graduate from LSU with my chemical engineering degree so I'm very excited about that. But I was a little bit concerned that only 23% of engineers today are women and I thought that's something that should change. I think it's really important for young women to be involved in the STEM fields. I think it's the future of our country and I really just don't want women to be left behind. I would like to be the next Miss Louisiana just to be an advocate for our state, to promote my platform, but most importantly promote what the organization is about. Show young women that it's about confidence, getting out of your comfort zone and making a change not only in our state but our entire world. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is the Bucket Challenge, and I chose that based on a children's book, How Full Is Your Bucket? And it's about how every child has that self-esteem bucket, and we're either going to fill it up or we're going to empty out of it. And so I want to advocate how having a high self-esteem at a young age is very important and how we can keep our buckets full. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I believe in what this organization stands for. I want to be that catalyst for change within our community and be a servant leader. I want to be a role model for young girls and um, for people all across the state who aspire to be Miss Louisiana or Miss America. And beyond that, I want this opportunity to be a spokesperson for the Miss Louisiana organization and for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals and my platform. Uh, tell us a little bit about that platform that you just mentioned. Sure. Like I said, it's called Prescription for a Bright Future, Choose Wisely, Act Kindly, and essentially it's all about who we are as individuals, so about our character and our integrity, and then the other side of it is how we live that out through acts of kindness and um, through showing love to others. And this is something not only that I'm passionate about, but I feel is a very important message for the youth of today, and it's just an important message for everyone that is all-encompassing and all people can get behind and support. And and something that I'd love to share as Miss Louisiana. What has the scholarship dollars this organization provides meant to you? The scholarships are invaluable. Um, I mentioned that I am enrolled at the School of Pharmacy and um, I have been responsible for funding my own education. So it brings me such joy to be able to tell others that I'm one year away from obtaining my Doctor of Pharmacy degree and I'm completely debt free thanks to the Miss Louisiana organization. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Not only for the crown and the fame, but I want to change lives, promote my platform, the normal things that any Miss Louisiana or any state title holder should want. Um, my platform is Feeding the Hungry Heart, and it targets two of my dear passions, which is the less fortunate, those that don't always know what they're going to eat, those that go cold during the winters. But I also have a passion for children, which is why I'm also majoring in elementary, elementary education here at ULM. And I am very passionate about making sure that they know that their environment and their circumstances don't determine what they can do and who they can be in life. Why did you choose to do pageants? It's actually a funny story, but I'm glad that I did. I didn't technically choose it, it kind of chose me um, in a short way, but it actually changed my life. The Miss Louisiana organization is the reason I am the person I am today. I've been a part of this organization for four years and I'm just honored to be here another year. I would love to be ultimately a role model for young children. I am an early childhood education major and so I really believe that the children are the future and I want to be a positive role model for these children. Tell us what your platform is and why you chose it. 
Like I said, I'm an early childhood education major, and so my platform is called Book It to Success, and it focuses on promoting early childhood literacy to ensure that every child is given the opportunity to excel in, in school and have the proper resources like books and things like that to have an early start towards their education. Uh, what is the scholarship dollars this organization provides meant to you personally? Personally, I would be able to finish college and I would even be able to get my additional certification to become an elementary school librarian and hopefully continue to go and get my master's after my bachelor's degree. I want to represent a state that I'm so passionate about. Um, I feel that my platform is one that could be spread across the state and across the nation. Um, I want to be a role model to the students and individuals in our state and promote healthy living and a positive mental state of health. And why did you choose your platform? I chose my platform actually based on my sister. Um, it's against social media pressures. Um, children these days see uh, social media and see what they should be and what they are told that they should feel and do. And um, that's not acceptable because each individual has a unique characteristic that they contribute to society. And I noticed specifically in my little sister, who's 13 years old, um, that she was very pressured into looking a certain way and acting a certain way to feel that she was adequate enough to um, be popular. And that really uh, got to me because I know that she isn't the only one feeling that way. So my platform, I'm partnered with First Lady Donna Edwards to implement something called Classroom Confidence Kits that will be spread throughout Louisiana um, by the Louisiana Federation of Teachers. They're, they're uh, sponsoring that and um, hopefully boost the self-esteem of our students and let them know that their authenticity is what makes them beautiful. Would you say that pageants has helped you with self-esteem? It definitely has. Um, pageants have a perception of just beauty, um, but that's not the case. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes academically, um, community service work, success, scholarship, those are the points of the crown, but um, pageants really have helped me to be confident with what I stand for and who I am and to be in the community and um, be a figure, a role model to children and students. And um, So they have. They have boosted my my confidence and my self-esteem and I hope to share that. For me it's always been about seeing a growth in myself. It's not necessarily about winning the biggest title or you know going the, the farthest or the highest marks that you can get. It's about how I can improve myself and how I can grow as an individual. And for me the Miss Louisiana system has been what has made that change in me and how I've grown thus far. And to be able to say that I have made it worth it and I have made you know such great changes that I have achieved something that I never really even thought was the true goal which was to improve myself and to make myself better. So that would just be like, you know, the icing on top of the cake because a great experience is always better with a little icing. Uh, what is your platform and why'd you choose it? My platform kind of takes two things together that I've always loved. So it's a logical fit for me because I've always loved health and fitness and I've always been a great advocate of the arts. And so I named my platform Arts and Healthcare. And basically, it's exactly what it sounds. I take the arts into any healthcare settings I can get into, whether it's a hospital, a nursing home, home care venues, and I just basically can sit down with a patient or an individual, take them into a happy place while they're in their familiar place, and take the stress away, relieve their anxiety, and just bring a little joy into their world and take all of that anxiety away and just make their day better instead of worrying about their health issues and worrying about what stresses them out and just brightening their environment. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I want to be a servant to our, our communities right here in the state. I want to show everyone my, um, my experience, share my experience as being hearing impaired and um, achieving every goal that has, I've set for myself. Um, I've always wanted to compete in pageants and I want to show um, young girls what can be achieved through pageantry and how pageants can help you be a servant to your community. What is your platform and how did you choose it? Okay. My platform is Hear Me Now, A-E-I-O-U, Awareness, Education, Inspiration, and Outreach Starts With You. And um, 
Basically, I chose my platform because I live my platform daily. I am hearing impaired. I was diagnosed at the age of five. And basically what my platform focuses on is um, empowering the youth who are hearing impaired and dispelling any stereotypes that say that the hearing impaired and deaf communities are unable to achieve their goals. And um, I'm a direct product uh, showing that I can achieve any dreams that you set for yourself regardless of your hearing deficit. I want to be Miss Louisiana because Miss Louisiana has honestly helped me in so many ways. It's opened doors for me to be able to go to college and grad school, something that I didn't really think was possible for me. Um, it's also helped me to um, be able to um, connect with youth all over the, um, the city of Winfield, Monroe, all over Louisiana, being able to promote my platform. I've been able to mentor to youth all over and spread my message and my story to kids in need of it. Uh, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. Well, my platform, it specifically focuses on youth that are in low income populations. And I myself am, I, um, I myself um, was in a low income population at one point. I grew up in Winfield, Louisiana, and I want to provide scholarship opportunities for young people. I want to um, provide um, service opportunities, volunteerism, and I want to continue to grow our area and show uh, young men and women that they can go to college and it's possible for them. What has the scholarship dollars this organization provides meant to you? Well, right now I've taken a sabbatical off of school because of financial um, um, restraints. And so this next year I'll be able to go through grad school debt free. And that's because of this organization, the scholarship dollars that I've been able to save over the last couple of years. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I want to help people. I want to use my platform, my passion for fitness, and my love of music to as a way to connect with people and really just make people feel special. And um, of course, I want to be the first Miss Louisiana to win Miss America as well. What is your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is the Cinderella Project More Than a Dress, which is an organi organization that gives prom dresses to girls who uh, have financial obstacles or challenges to where they wouldn't be able to get a prom dress otherwise. And we have this big prom dress giveaway and we promote it and we have dress donations and they, they come and they're able to get their prom dress. And then afterwards, they're able to have an opportunity to participate in a leadership retreat in which they get to go down to Baton Rouge and tour LSU's campus and receive a scholarship and so just by receiving this free prom dress they're able to participate in something that can totally change their outlook on their future. Uh, tell us a little bit about what the scholarship dollars this organization has provided you has meant to you. Yes so the scholarship is an absolute blessing. I, anytime I talk about it with my peers, they're just so amazed at the amount of scholarship that the Miss America organization gives. And as Miss Louisiana Tech, I've been honored to be able to receive full tuition at Louisiana Tech. And then along with my Miss America scholarship, it pays for, for textbooks or any other things that are academic related. And so that's just an amazing, amazing blessing that not a lot of people know about. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? Not only would it be an honor to serve as the Goodwill Ambassador for Children's Miracle Network, but it would also be a great opportunity for me to spread my platform on a more larger scale. Um, my platform is something that is very relevant. It's called STAT. It's Strategies Targeting Adolescent Thinking, and it's about promoting anti-violence amongst teens and adolescents. Uh, what has the scholarship dollars this organization provided meant to you? Oh, it's... It's tremendous. I really did not have to take out student loans until my very last semester of college. I am happy to say that I will be graduating in May with my BSN um, in nursing. So I'm very excited about that. This organization has helped me a lot. And when I report to people how much I have gained from this organization, they are extremely surprised by the amount of scholarship money. Uh, tell us what are some things that you feel are very high on the list of what you've gained by participating in the Miss America organization? Definitely confidence. Um, my public speaking skills have more so improved and I have learned to stand aside my values and beliefs um, even if I'm standing alone and just being really firm on what I believe and helping others to communicate that. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I want to be able to take my platform, the rural treatment, which it gives me the opportunity to dress up as Elsa the Princess and go to Children's Miracle Network hospitals and be able to share my experience through a hospital and being that child in that bed to be able to go out through all the hospitals in Louisiana and just kind of be able to touch each child's life as well as their parents. Uh, why did you choose to do pageants? 
I chose pageants because I've held a lot of leadership roles at Northwestern State University and I saw the opportunity to be able to hold another one and I wanted to be able to serve as a role model for you know younger um, young girls you know that are looking up towards these girls you know wanting to be interested in pageants and be able to express that pageants aren't just all about beauty that they come from so much more and you gain so much experience through doing them. What's the number one thing you've learned by doing them? Um, I would have to say confidence, being able to walk into any room and being able to hold my head up high no matter what the circumstances are and just being able to be confident in everything that I do. What, what do the scholarship dollars this organization provides have meant to you? That means a lot to me. Um, I, Northwestern State has given me so many scholarship opportunities and this being another one is awesome to me. I like to be able to say that you know I don't have to take out student loans and things like that so these scholarships have helped me being able to go through college without taking out student loans yet so that's awesome experience. Thank you. Being a part of the Miss America and Miss Louisiana organization has been something that has created the person that I am today and because of that I want to have the opportunity to give back to it and that's the reason why I'm a part of this organization and that's the reason why I continue to compete. What are the top three things you've learned by competing in this organization? Well, I learned how to be confident in myself. That's something that growing up I didn't have but stepping out on a stage and being able to perform a talent, wear a swimsuit, that's something that's going to have to give you confidence. I've also learned you know, how to speak in front of people. That's something that's also nerve-wracking for a lot of people but it's actually brought me into my major which is ma mass communication and broadcast journalism. So because of this I figured out that I can speak in front of people and that I do have enough confidence to step up on a stage and I have something to say. And finally I learned how to live a healthy lifestyle. So you go up on stage in a swimsuit, I mean that's something that Yes, you can sit around a pool, but modeling in a swimsuit for judge judges is definitely something that makes a lot of people nervous. And being able to find that way to work out and to keep up a healthy lifestyle year-round just for yourself is something that I've really taken from this program. Uh, tell us what your platform is and why you chose it. My platform is Team Charlotte Fighting Pancreatic Cancer. And my grandmother, actually, two weeks after the last Miss Louisiana pageant, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer stage four. She just passed away about two weeks ago and I chose it for her because actually my first name is Charlotte. I go by my middle name and her name's Charlotte and that's a powerful name. And that's something that's passed down from her to my mom to me and I wanna carry that forward and fight pancreatic cancer, find a way that we can diagnose it early because that's one of the major reasons why people die so quickly from pancreatic cancer because it's a fast growing cancer. And what we really need is that early diagnostic process and ways in which we can do that. And so for her, I'm helping to continue that fight. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I've had this dream since I was five years old. And as I've progressed through my life, I've held several titles and I have also become an RN. And working through these different stages of my life, overcoming the struggle of nursing school, seeing the maturity that lies on the other side of graduation and seeing the ways that I want to help people. I love this state so much. It's the perfect opportunity to do it. It's been my dream and I feel like this is my life calling. Um, what is your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is Marathons with Meaning. I'm a marathon runner, which means running 26.2 miles. And I run on behalf of my cancer patients. I run races in their honor. I developed this platform when I held the title of Miss Spirit of the Washita, And I have completed five full marathons, eight half marathons, and 25 Ks. I'm training for an ultra marathon, which is 31 miles. And I chose this platform because this is something that's so near and dear to my heart. My patients mean the world to me. And I want to advocate for Louisiana and travel all over the state, not on, only honoring my patients, but also running, staying fit. Um, tell us what scholarship dollars this organization provides has meant to you. Scholarship dollars, this is so awesome for Miss Louisiana organization. Not only does this pageant in include your, your growth in, in all areas such as social, socially, intellectually, and spiritually, but it also provides you the chance to further your education. And I'm also going um, to get my master's degree in nursing and maybe work towards being a doctor or a nurse practitioner. And this means the world to me that I have an opportunity to help with my finances through gaining education. I want to be Miss Louisiana because everything that it embodies, um, I'm in love with the state to tell you the truth. I've always grown up here from fishing to going hunting, that's all I know. And then especially because I want to make a difference. Miss Louisiana organization has already taught me so many things. Just two years ago I was 30 pounds overweight and now I can say I've lost those 30 pounds and I'm working to lose even more. So if, if I can change somebody else's life then why not be Miss Louisiana? 
Well, tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. I chose Know Your Worth because um, I have to say I suffered with low self-esteem and I wanted to make a difference, like I've said before, and I saw the need for somebody to understand how much they're worth. And it's so prevalent today, suicidal thoughts, people that are taking their lives because they don't understand who they are, they're not willing to work towards anything. So I said, okay, you know what? I wanna motivate somebody to keep trying. So Know Your Worth is all about motivation, empowerment, and telling someone that they can make it in spite of everything that they've been through. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because I want to show also my service to domestic awareness and my service to Children's Miracle Network and also be the light for so many young girls and women in the state. Why did you decide to do a pageant? I decided to do a pageant very last minute because I was very closed off and I didn't have confidence and I wanted to grow in myself as a person. What have you learned by doing the pageants? I've gained so much confidence and I've gained social skills that I needed and how to approach and talk to people and how to just give myself back to the community. What is your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is Domestic Violence Awareness and I chose it because it's very close and dear to me because I was once a victim and I want to spread the word of how to make such a positive thing out of something so negative. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I'm really interested in philanthropy and being a well-rounded human being. And I think that rewarding girls with scholarships for just doing that, I think it's right up my alley and I absolutely love that idea. What is your platform? My platform is Embracing the Neurodiverse. It involves around awareness of special needs children and funding and special needs schools and public school programs because parents usually don't have the money to send their kids to a private school and I think that's kind of unfair. Why did you choose this platform? I chose that platform because I volunteer at a small special needs school here in Monroe. And it's really close to my heart and I've seen firsthand the effects of an education and how it can really open someone up, especially special needs children. What about the scholarship dollars this organization provides? What does that mean to you? I think it's one of the best things a scholarship does for young women besides, you know, communication skills and whatnot, because it helps us with an education and fulfilling our dreams. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I know that I can be the best representative for the organization along with being an advocate for Children's Miracle Network. And what is your platform and why did you choose it? Ignited Fusion because it's a basically a mixing pot of what I've been involved with for my life. Uh, what do you, why did you decide to do pageants? It was one of those when I was younger, my mom kind of dressed me up and put me in the pageants and then I stopped it when I got into the junior high area and then when I found out about the scholarship organization that they and what they offer, that's why I got back into the pageant world. Uh, tell us a little bit about what those scholarship dollars will, will help you with in the future. They'll be able to finance the rest of my school to be able to pay off student loans as well and of course to the further my education. Tell us a little bit about why you want to be the next Miss Louisiana. I mean, I feel like it would be easier to explain wh uh, all the reasons why I wouldn't want to be Miss Louisiana. Um, there's the scholarship opportunities, the many opportunities to serve and give back to the community, and of course, um, just being able to be known in the community. Um, just everything that embodies Miss Louisiana is something that I strive to be. Uh, what is your platform and why did you choose it? My platform is finding and funding your local food banks. And I chose it because as a nutrition and dietetics major, I've been able to see um, just the many things that you can learn about food and how it can fuel your body. And um, through the Feeding a Miracle nonprofit organization, I'm able to partner with that organization and um, advocate for the hungry families in Louisiana and across America. Why do you want to be the next Miss Louisiana? I believe it's a great opportunity to be a great role model to the younger children of these days, especially with the struggle of uh, equal rights. And I believe each individual person deserves to be treated equally. And with my platform, Dancing Through Disabilities and Disorders, it gives me an opportunity to speak about it and to give children the comfortable comfortability level and the I, would guess, I guess you would say courage to go out there and shoot for your dreams. Uh, what made you decide to even do a pageant? 
I actually started doing pageants whenever I was 13 years old. It all started out um, whenever I did my high school pageant, Lady of the Locket. Um, I started gaining interest in it because I started I enjoying and enjoying looking good I guess you could say it brought my confidence level up so I was just like hey let's do another pageant and I just started like one after another getting first runner up I was like okay this is fun but um my first ever pageant I ever won was uh junior team princess Louisiana 2011 and it was a state title and I was so thrilled and after that I learned the importance of community service and that's what's really important about the pageants pageantry system and especially the Miss America organization is that you go out there and you just show the community your passion of your community service project and my community service project dancing through disabilities and disorders has taught me how to be a strong courageous woman and to go out there and fulfill my dreams. I want to be the next Miss Louisiana because of the change that I see that I can make. Um, with my platform, Leadership, Empowerment, and Development, I currently serve as the Teen Advisory Council Chairman. And already, just on a local level, I've been able to impact over 200 girls. Serving as a lead ambassador as Miss Louisiana would enable me to work with an even larger amount of girls and um, spread a widespread amount of leadership and empowerment um, to girls across the entire state and hopefully take it on a national level as well. How have the scholarship dollars this organization provides helped you? Oh my gosh, they've helped me immensely. Um, I'm a double major, and so in addition to TOPS, that only gets me so far. Um, and so it's given me the ability to continue my education, push myself a little bit harder, and um, really make my future as successful as possible. I would love to be the mes next Miss Louisiana, most of all to spread awareness for my platform. It is organ donation and I'm so passionate about it and I think we definitely need more organ donors in this um, nation. Uh, tell us a little bit about organ donation and its importance. Organ donation is so important because only less than half of the United States are registered organ donors and people die every day waiting for an organ so it's definitely in dire need. I want to be Miss Louisiana because I want to be an inspiration. I've been through a lot in the past couple years and I feel that I can really relate to all the citizens in Louisiana and not only would it be a huge honor for me but just being able to spread my platform and spread awareness for Children's Miracle Network would be a huge dream of mine. Tell us a little bit about your platform and why you chose it. My platform is called Winning the Battle Within. It's autoimmune disease awareness and healthy living education. I chose that platform because two years ago, I actually fought ITP. And since I won my battle, I've learned to live a healthy lifestyle. So I want to educate the public on simple ways that they can be healthier through diet and exercise. What have the scholarship dollars this organization provides meant to you personally? Well, personally, it's meant a lot. Actually, I got involved with the Miss America, Miss Louisiana organization my very first year because I wanted to win a semester's tuition as Miss Southeastern. And lo and behold, I ended up winning the title and getting a whole year's tuition, so it really helped me out a whole lot. And since then, I've graduated with a degree in kinesiology, completely debt-free, thanks to the Miss Louisiana organization. What would you tell a young girl who is looking up to you and saying, I would like to be Miss Louisiana one day? What type of advice would you give her? You can 100% be Miss Louisiana because it's not about becoming Miss Louisiana and define, it's about defining what Miss Louisiana is and using your unique qualities, who you are, your skills and your talents and bringing that to the table as Miss Louisiana. So each year, Miss Louisiana is someone who is unique, who is different. And my year is going to be uniquely different from the next Miss Louisiana's year. So whoever you are, go out and find who you are, find what makes you unique and makes you stand out and make a difference in your community and you can be Miss Louisiana. Well, one of the great things about being Miss Louisiana is the scholarship dollars. Tell us a little bit about the scholarship dollars and what they've meant to you in this organization. The scholarship dollars in the Miss Louisiana organization are everything. They're the reason that I first started competing because I so value my education. And being able to earn over $100,000 in scholarships through the Miss Louisiana's Outstanding Teen Program and now over $20,000 in scholarships in just the past two years have helped me further my education and more so pay for my medical school applications and now fund part of my medical school tuition. So I'm beyond thankful for the scholarship dollars that this organization has offered to me. It's so incredibly important. Well, you've touched on a little bit about what you're eventually going to do. Tell us what is your dream here and what are you going to become shortly as uh, a former Miss Louisiana? 
Yes, well, a month after I give my title to the next Miss Louisiana, um, I will be moving to New Orleans to start medical school at the Tulane School of Medicine. Um, I was actually accepted before becoming Miss Louisiana and it was because I became Miss Louisiana I decided to defer for a year and take a year off to be Miss Louisiana to have these experiences in my life and to go back and then continue to pursue my dreams of becoming a doctor. Well thank you, you've been a wonderful Miss Louisiana. Just beautiful. Thank you so much. It's been a huge honor to be your Miss Louisiana 2016.